Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will work on this design right here. This design consists of a text and a picture of an airplane and a little shape on the side. This is the font that I use in this design. It's called Airstrike. All you have to do is to go to the font.com, type Airstrike in the search box and you will get the result downloaded and you add it to the Photoshop software. I already explained to you how to add fonts to the software. As for the image, the plain image, I downloaded from the freepick.com. All you have to do is type plain in the search box and you will get many results. For me, this is the, the image that I used. You're free to use it to use it or you can use any other image you want so you click on the image you get the image you want then you click on free download i already downloaded the image so i'll just go to it here it is so now we open a new page with the usual settings all we do is we change the resolution to 300 and here we are we change the background color I'll take the shirt color so to make it this is the color code now I use the shape tool to create a box like this and I will give it this color right here set the background color like this I zoom in a little bit and I use the text tool and I start typing the text I click here and I type fly I need to change the text color this is the same as the background so I make it in white here we are. I change the, the font to airstrike bold. I'll adjust the text a little bit like this. The size. I adjust the height and the width. And here we are. And we put it right here. Now we go here and I type like a I change the font to Tahoma Here it is I type like A and here we are I adjust the size of the text upper 150 or maybe even less 100 why not make it bold in here and we put we put it right here I adjust it a little bit like this and I put it right here now I will add the plain image so I open it with the Photoshop and I need to cut the plane from the whole image we already worked on this image we already did cut this image earlier in the course I showed you how to do that so I remove these leftovers right here and I select this tool to copy the airplane image
right click the layer via cut and I drag it to the design page I put it right here and I adjust its size and position there's still some leftover that needs to be deleted like this I zoom in to take a good look and we click delete from the keyboard that's good we still have these leftovers we delete them like this here we are now I will adjust the position of the plane I put it right here Now I type the lower text, we already typed fly like A and now we type boss. So the full sentence is fly like a boss. And I will change the font to airstrike bold. And I adjust the size of the word. I put it like this. That's good. I need to adjust this, the position of the word. That's good. So this is the look of the design. Now I would add the shape that we added in the original design. So I use the pen tool and I would draw the shape right here I type the first dot then I click and drag with the second one until I finish the shape like this I gave the shape an internal color and I remove the frame now I need to adjust the shape a little bit it's still not that good looking so I use this tool and I already explained to you how to fix shapes and how to draw them keep going until I get the results I want that's good and here we are this is the look of our design now I will add a background beneath this image the background that I'm gonna use it's a shape that I already added to the software and I already explained to you how to add shapes to the Photoshop software type maps in the search box of freepick.com and this is the shape that I used all you have to do is to download it any map image you add the image you download it and then you remove the background and as usual you know what to do this is the image that I use this is the exact one that I'm using right now you download it you add it to the Photoshop you remove the background and you put it behind the shape like this as you see this is the shape I click and drag like this to draw the shape like this here it is I will change its color to be more visible I 
I will explain to you how to download the shape. Here it is. As I said, you choose it. Then you click download. You wait for it until it's downloaded. If your download doesn't start automatically, click here. The image is downloaded. Now I, I unzip it. Here it is. This is the image. I add it to the Photoshop like this. As I said, I unlock the image layer. Then I use the magic wand tool to remove the background. And as you see, the background is gone. Same thing here. I keep, we need to delete these spaces right here. Then I go here to this page. I'll remove the map that I already did to add this one. So I drag it to the design page and I put it right here. I need to adjust its size and its position. Here it is. Right click on it. Then I go to blending options, color overlay, and I make it an invisible color like this one. And this is the map behind the design. So this is the final look of our design. Now we will add this design to the mockup, just like this. But I need to add two lines right here first. So I left the design a little bit like this to make some space. And I use the shape tool, the rounded rectangle tool. I make 25 pixels right here in the radius and I would draw a rectangle like here. I copy it and I make it one more time like this. That's it. So this is the final look of our design. As always, we save it as a PSD type in case we want to edit it later. Here it is. So this is the final look of our design. I already added to the mo to the mockup. All we have to do is to save the design on the mockup and here it is. As you see, it's a cool and yet simple design. You can use this ways and techniques to make your own designs. It doesn't have to be the same as this design. I'm only showing you here the ways and the techniques. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another one.